Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Garrett Harding and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download DaVinci Resolve onto Windows 10. So if you're thinking you want to get started with video editing and you want to start with DaVinci Resolve but you're not sure how to do that, this is the video for you. So make sure that you've subscribed so that you don't miss any of the other DaVinci Resolve tutorials on this channel. And now that you've done that, let's jump into the video. Here we are on a fresh desktop. What we're going to do now that we're here is go ahead and open Google Chrome or whatever browser you use and we're going to type in DaVinci Resolve. Now that we've typed it in, we're going to go ahead and just hit enter. Right here you can see our first result in this search is going to be blackmagicdesign.com products DaVinci Resolve. And that is what we want. Blackmagic Design makes DaVinci Resolve. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then you get this big old picture and a little download button right here underneath these words DaVinci Resolve. The rest of this on here is just information about the product, different things that it can do. Again, at the bottom, if we scroll all the way down, we have another download button as well as a download button for the paid version. For this tutorial, we're gonna download the free version. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download now. Now we get this pop up that says DaVinci Resolve 16 at the top and it has buttons for you to select your operating system. So go ahead and choose the one that applies to you and then put in all of these details here with the stars next to them. Those are required. All of them here like company that do not have an asterisk are not required. So you don't have to fill those in. The rest of these though you do. So I'll get these filled out and then I will click on register and download and then I'll see you once I do that. Now we're on this page where it says thank you. If your download does not start automatically, go ahead and click this link. Mine did. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to download and then I will see you once that is done. Okay, so it's done downloading. I'll go ahead and click on this and you're going to need to extract the zip file. I am going to be putting mine on my external hard drive called the tower. So go ahead and hit OK, and then just extract this wherever you need it to be on your own system. And we'll wait again for this to be done. So it is done extracting, so we'll go and navigate to the spot that we extracted it to, and then we'll continue this process. So I'm going to close these windows. I'm going to open up my file explorer down here. I'm going to get into the tower where we put that, and then I'm going to go into DaVinci Resolve. Just double click on that application, and I'll minimize this window. And now we have all of these options. The ones that have check boxes next to them are optional. You don't have to install them. You can go ahead and click off of those if you want to. All of these though, I would recommend just install them all because you don't know if you're gonna need them down the line and they're not gonna do anything to cause any problems. So just leave all of those checked. As you can see, I have most of these installed already, but since there was an update, I have that to do. So I'll go ahead and click on install and this will pop up and then again we will wait until this is done and then we'll continue this tutorial. Now that that particular installing process is completed, the setup wizard is going to start automatically. So that's what we're looking at here. It's going to compute the amount of space required and now we have this screen here. We're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to accept the terms in the license agreement because if you don't, you can't use the software. So if you're concerned, go ahead and read it. Otherwise, just, you know, do the thing you always do. Then you're going to tell it where to install DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go ahead and put ours right here in the tower again, just like I did before. And then I'm going to hit install and then we're going to wait for this progress bar. We just had a new window pop up. It says click finish to exit the setup wizard. So we're going to go ahead and click on finish. And we still have some stuff going on in the background, but now that's wrapped up. So now that Resolve is installed, we'll go ahead and open our file explorer again, and we'll navigate to where we have installed it. So we've navigated back to the tower here. If we scroll down, we're going to see that we have all of these files. Generally, you want to have these in a folder, but I'm going to delete these after because I have Resolve installed somewhere else right now. So you see this first one right here. This is our installer. So don't click on that again because we just installed it and it won't let you do it. So just go on past that until you get down to the one that says Resolve right there. So now that we have Resolve on screen here, we're gonna go ahead and double click it. And then we're gonna get a splash screen that pops up that looks like this, or there are a few other photos, but it will generally look 
something like this. And while this is up for you, since you haven't installed it before, you're gonna have a lot of things that pop up and ask questions about like access to things on your computer. You wanna just allow all of those. They're just so that Resolve has all the permissions that it needs to actually do the things that you need it to do. So go ahead and just allow all of those as they pop up and then you'll be greeted with a screen like this but without all of these extra projects you'll just have this one untitled project go ahead and open that and you're off to the races that's all it takes to download and install davinci resolve so make sure you subscribe to the channel because this is what i do here i help you use this program better so if you're going to be using this make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads and so that you can find all of my past uploads that will help you use this program so i will see you tomorrow for the next episode of fast fridays and i hope you have a great day